Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full-time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. You're hurting all of us when you bring down New Zealand, okay? Stop it. Today we have got a very special PayPal request. I'm gonna read out the message here. Hey Andrew, Springy here. I finally got around to making a PayPal request. Long story, but I've just gone back to work after two years of a neurological disease that hammered me. I'm on top of it now and starting to function somewhat normally. Not that I've ever been normal. I would normally request Rush, Sabbath, Zeppelin, ACDC, Uriah Heep, Deep Purple. Uriah Heep is a group I'm not familiar with at all, by the way. Uh, Genesis and on and on. But I thought I would ask for someone who really influenced my drumming. Not just one of my heroes. Mike Borden from Faith No More is the closest thing to my style. Only he's brilliant. Stop it, Springy. Hopefully this video will work. It's Midlife Crisis Live by Faith No More. If this doesn't work, then any version of the song live or studio will work. And he's put the link there. Thank you, Andrew. You cannot imagine how much your channel and community has helped me through a very tough period. As always, peace and love, brother. Cheers, Springy. Springy, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. We've had some great chats over the years, and I really appreciate your openness and honesty. And just for everyone else out there, obviously this is a fairly personal message. I did check with Springy beforehand before I read this out publicly, and he said, hey, no secrets around here, it's fine. It's all open and transparent. So Springy, thank you again. We're gonna get into the video. I need to top up my coffee, but the deal for today, if you subscribe, 10 BPM added to your single stroke roll speed. So that's today's deal. Get on it. If you're not subbed, hit it right now. All right, coffee. Wait a minute. Ooh. The sweet, sweet smell. All right, this is Faith No More Midlife Crisis live on the Jay Leno Show, 1993. Let's get it. A damn fine cup of coffee. Just real quick, the intro here reminds me somewhat of a stripped back No Excuses by uh, Alice in Chains. I'm just gonna go back again. Oh man, there's just so much. Mike Borden is a bit of a legend. There's just so much to take in here. Keep an eye on those left foot. Uh, eighth note. Uh, he's playing eighth notes on that left foot. That's his internal metronome. Uh, it's so obvious straight away. And it reveals uh, a lot about a drummer's independence and how they feel time and how they feel a certain tempo. So chugging eighth notes, sometimes, you know, if the tempo is fast, he might go down to quarters on that left foot ostinato. He's feeling it in eighth notes here, and it's great to see this kind of independence. I've got to back it up again. He is a lefty too. Keep an eye out for his open-handed style. Really, really cool. Back to the start. Sorry, guys. I hat Left hand lead. I gotta admit the vocals are incredibly distracting because Mike Patton, as uh, many of you will know, is a genius. He's a musical genius and a phenomenal, one of a kind vocalist. Um, if you're not a Faith No More person and you're not familiar with uh, Midlife Crisis, I know growly style vocals is a real turnoff for a lot of people. I'm just gonna put it out there. It's a big turnoff for a lot of people. If you heard this and you weren't familiar with Faith No More and you, uh, I don't know, hang in there. <laughs> You're going to see some uh, vocal gymnastics. And I got to admit, it is a little bit distracting from the, the band because Mike Patton, he's such a rock star. I'm going to back it up a bit and let's go again. <laughs> Mike 
Mike Patton does his own call and response vocals. Like how, I'll come back to Alison Chains, how we've got Lane Staley and Jerry Cantrell. They do a back and forth sort of distorted and a clean vocal. He's doing this on his own. That's <laughs> it's just ridiculous. One interesting thing for me with Faith No More because I would consider myself a casual fan of Faith No More, like a greatest hits kind of fan with Faith No More. Every time I see them, I'm completely blown away. But and and then I wonder why don't I listen to Faith No More more? (laughs) Why don't I listen to Faith No More more? When I compare them to the groups that I uh, was obsessed with around around this time, around 1993. Uh, Alison, coming back to Alison Chains, I've got to stop mentioning, mention, <laughs> I've got to stop mentioning, it's not that hard a word, Alison Chains, uh, Soundgarden and like, other various bands. I think a difference with Faith No More was the keyboards. Pearl Jam incorporated a bit of organ keyboard into the sound. Faith No More, it's really front and center and it really drives a lot of the emotional vocal acrobatics i call it that um i really can't imagine faith no more without a keyboard actually because it's just so integral i don't know how to better describe it it adds an, an emotional softer layer to go with the hard rock core of the band there you go let's keep it going I thought it was a half time. Technically, it's backbeat on the four instead of two and four. Big triplet fell. Crescendo. interesting he was behind a screen there as well wasn't he i see popping up on the right of on the recommended list uh, next to this video charismatic voice elizabeth jaroff did a analysis of mike Patton's vocals on this particular track i'll have to check that out and i have done an interview with elizabeth you should check that out as well um i'll put a link to that in the description of the video so yeah obviously 
I guess every Faith No More song is a vocal feature just because the singing is so <laughs> exceptional and, and unusual. But this is a tight, tight band performance. Um, the fact that they are setting this stage for Mike Patton to shine indicates that the band is tight. There's nothing distracting or weird. There was some weird guitar. I don't know if that came through. There was some weird guitar notes coming through right at the end there. I don't know what that was all about anyway, but it's just this chugging machine. Mike Borden's got this machine-like approach. Um, he plays open-handed basically as a lefty on a right-handed setup. So unlike Ringo, who is a lefty, who just plays right-handed when okay if you're not a drummer i'll try and clarify this basically we're looking at the backbeat hand which one's the lead hand which one's the backbeat hand dominant hand um, basically the hand that's going to play the ride and the hi-hats so the really clever thing that mike borden has done is he simply it's so simple this concept he simply shifted his ride to the left the difficult thing playing a right hand setup for a lefty would be hi hats are fine you can reach those very very comfortably more comfortable than crossed over in the normal left hand matched position if he wants to play the ride that's a different story that ride's going to be too far away he's crossed over he's not going to get a good arc on that right hand backbeat so simple put the ride to the left above the hi-hats and you can ride on the ride or ride on the hi-hats and you don't have to cross over and you can access all these melodic ideas on the toms which he did throughout that song really really simple approach now compare this to Ringo who is literally playing as a right-handed crossed over right-handed drummer but as a lefty there are no rules I think the biggest thing my biggest takeaway, other than the exceptional drumming, Mike Borden hit so hard. He's always so in the pocket. My biggest takeaway is there's no rules. Mike Borden has shown us there is no rules. Do whatever works. If it works to put your ride over the on the left side and you want to play left-handed open, great. It makes total sense to do that. The only real question is, does it work? <laughs> And it's clearly working for Mike Borden. Um, high cymbals, so he can really bash, gets a lot of separation between his drums and the cymbals because he, he keeps them quite high. So I imagine he's a, a really nice drummer to mix. And basically we just get this simmering machine-like quality throughout the verses and then this big explosion in the choruses with Mike Borden on the song. And it's just awesome. It's just so musical, so rocky so thoughtful uh, just really musical decisions as always in faith no more guys thank you so much for watching uh springy thank you for the request and for the donation to the channel it really helps me out and um i'm really really glad that we got to a mike borden video i don't think he's been requested a lot i don't think faith no more has been requested a lot there's gonna be a few people out there go hey i requested them ages ago but i'm really glad you got this one over the line springy just awesome it's just such a good band as i say every time i listen to faith no more i just think why am i not listening to these guys more it's just so good it's so in my wheelhouse of you know what i would like and what i grew up listening to i mean they were always there they were always in that orbit for me but i just never really went down the rabbit hole so maybe i need to Guys, remember to subscribe, pick up your free 10 BPM extra single stroke roll speed. Uh, it's a bit of a no brainer. You can pick up a free 30 day trial over at Drumio. Also, they've got a whole bunch of Faith No More songs transcribed. You can go pick up those, download them, learn a bunch of Mike Borden drum parts. You can also learn off the world's best drummers, multiple courses from beginners to advanced and everything in between. Guys, if you would like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon, it's just $5 a month, and you get access to all the blocked videos, direct reaction requests, guaranteed reaction requests are via the PayPal system. Thanks again for the support. Thank you, Springy, my friend, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Ciao.